Right, yeah, it's a very important topic for us to uh, discuss. Epiretinal membrane, also known as a macula pucca or a cellophane maculopathy, is a thin translucent layer of scar tissue that forms on the surface of the retina, uh, particularly at the macula, which is the center of your vision. The common symptoms associated with this condition are due to distortion of vision, blurring of vision, and decrease in the contrast sensitivity, especially during night and uh, uh, dark light and environment. Uh, commonly presenting with distortion of vision, it's quite an important feature for us all to be aware of and attend to quite actively. Uh, Yes, so there's quite a few um, uh, factors that can cause uh, formation of epiretinal membrane. And if we think of it like a healing response from the body uh, in response to an insult that has been done to that eye, be it in the form of an injury that happened in the past, uh, an inflammation in the form of infection that you might have had, which went unnoticed, or just purely the movement of the jelly in the eye called vitreous detachment. Any of these can cause uh, uh, the onset of epiretinal membrane, which is like the body trying to heal following an injury or an insult. And the it, it does affect both younger and older individuals. As we know, uh, younger patients are more prone for injury or an infection, and that causes inflammation and followed by healing. Whereas in an elderly population, I often find that it's more to do with vitreous detachment, which is the jelly movement in the eye that causes an inflammation. And following the inflammation is the healing process, which causes the formation of epiretinal membrane. Yes, so it's uh, it used to be a challenge to make a diagnosis of epiretinal membrane in the past, uh, where we are entirely dependent on patient's symptoms, such as distortion of vision, and also on clinical examination by the ophthalmologist or the eye surgeon. Uh, but as days have gone past and the improvement in technology, especially this uh, new technology called the OCT, or the Optical Coherence Tomography, is a really high fidelity uh, scan of your retina taken uh, in, in a few seconds uh, in the outpatient clinic setting, and it captures the whole retinal thickening uh, in one single shot and gives really high quality images of the epiretinal membrane. So that seems to have become the fundamental tool for diagnosing epiretinal membrane uh, called the OCT. But we do have other tests such as fluorescent angiogram, which is called a dye test, and also clinical examination with high quality fundus uh, lenses. All of them contribute to making a better diagnosis of the condition. Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, because epiretinal membrane does not lend itself to be treated with any eye drops or um, any other med tablets or any other medication that we can give the patient, uh, the only option that's available for patients with epiretinal membrane would be to have an operation. So then the question would be, uh, should I have an operation? And if so, when should I have the operation? Uh, what if I don't have the operation? I think these are the common questions that all, all you know comes to all of our minds when it comes to oh you need an operation, um, and so I'll go through each of them separately. So, uh, do I need to have an operation? And now that's that is the fundamental question as to, and that depends entirely. Uh, I as I explained to all my patients that whether it bothers you or not. So having an epiretinal membrane in itself is not a reason to have an operation. It's only when the epiretinal membrane has grown to a significant level where it's affecting your vision in the form of distortion or difficulty in seeing things at distance or near is when you start thinking about whether we should do something about this or not. Now, when should I have it done? I, and as I said, at a point where it has affected your vision to a reasonable extent that you justify putting yourself through an operation is when you should consider. What if you don't have it done? 
there's a reasonable chance it will remain stable for quite a length of time, as in a few years at least. Very rarely do epithelial membranes progress so fast that it affects your vision pretty quickly. So it's not unusual for patients to sit on it maybe for a few months or maybe a year, but it's very important to keep it checked regularly. And that's how you'll find out when is a good time to have it done. In terms of treatment options, there are surgical options available, which are really high quality surgical instrumentation these days with very high precision and good outcomes of removing the epithelial membrane. Um, I often tell my patients that unlike cataract surgery, where you have the cataract operation and you come out and think, wow, that's a big improvement in my vision. Epithelial membrane surgery is more about damage limitation. So you've had a scar tissue on your retina and we want to try and decrease the risk of it progressing or getting worse. So this is more of a decreasing the chance of it getting worse rather than making a big improvement in your sight. Uh, so as long as we understand that this is a damage limitation operation, most patients will find that their visual outcomes are much better than what it was before. The distortions is much less and they come out as happy patients at the end of it. So my suggestion would be, yes, if you if it bothers you, do not hesitate to have it done. Yeah. 